If you've been following my series on getting free AI credits, you know the game is constantly changing. Methods appear, and then they disappear. But what if I told you the ultimate method is finally here? What if you could get one full year, 12 months of Google AI Pro completely for free? Now, officially, this is a student offer meant for students in India. But when I'm here, you don't need to worry. I'm going to show you how to avail this offer from anywhere in the world. If you stick with me by the end of this video, you will have unlocked 12 months of Google AI Pro with access to VO, Flow, and everything else. All tools that required for this method, you can find then in the video description. This is the one you've been waiting for. Let's begin. All right, so first, let's head over to our computer screen. Here, you need to log in with a fresh email account that you've just created. While this can work with an old account, it fails to work about 90% of the time, so it's best to use a new one. You should log in with the fresh email you've created. I just made this email a few minutes ago, so I'll log in with it now. Okay, I've logged in. Now, as you can see, my Gmail is all logged in. Now in the next step, I'll go to a new tab and use a VPN. I'm currently using Surfshark VPN, and for the location, we will select India. I have Surfshark VPN open in front of me, and as you can see, I'll select the Mumbai location. So let's select the Mumbai location. I'll now connect to it from within the VPN. As you can see, it's connecting. As soon as it connects, there, it's connected. Now we will go and check our IP address. I'll check my IP here to confirm. As you can see, my IP is showing as Maharashtra, Mumbai. Okay, so now I will provide a link in the description. You need to go to a new tab, paste this link, and open it. As you open it, you'll see the Verify Eligibility option. You need to click on it. This will give you the Google Pro account for free for 12 months, meaning Flow, Vids, and all other Google Pro features will be free for 12 months. So we clicked on it. Here, you need to add your student details. I'll show you how we can add them. You need to open a new tab and open Google Gemini. When you open Google Gemini, you need to click on Canvas. When you click on Canvas, I will give you a code in the description below. You need to paste it here and press Enter. As you press Enter, you'll see it's taking a little time. This is because it's generating a whole code. I've actually already created the code, but what it's doing now is compiling it. I'll tell you why I created this code. It's for creating a student ID card. When we added the Indian student's information in the previous tab, we will need a student ID card as proof. So, I have prepared this entire program to easily create a student ID card. We won't need to use any third-party services. You can copy this code from the description below. Here, we only need to do a few things. Upload a college logo, a student photo, and a principal signature. These signatures can be easily found on Google. So, now you come here to the School section, and you have to select any school. But you must make sure that the university or college you select does not have a city name next to it. As you can see, this one doesn't have a city name, so I'll select it. Here, I'll add my first name, and here I'll add my last name. After adding the last name, you need to come down and enter any date of birth you think is appropriate. I'll enter my date of birth here. I'll enter the year here. After that comes the student email address. This is also very easy. You can write any two digits at the beginning. Then you have to write BCS. And after that, you can write whatever you want, as much as you want. At least four characters are required. Then the domain will be at kucht.in. In this email, you need to ensure a few things. The first two digits can be whatever you want. And the digits after BCS can be whatever you want as many as you want. However, BCS must be in the middle, and the domain at the end is also very important. You have to keep this in mind. So, now I'll take you back to our ID card generator. For the student ID card, we first need a college logo. We can get any logo. I'll just pick one from here. As you can see, I've searched for quite a few. You simply need to do the same. I'll save this image. It's saved. Next, I'll download the principal signature that we need. I simply searched here, and I'll go to Images. Many signatures have appeared. You can just pick any signature, save it, and upload it. I'm going to do that right now. Sorry, this is a web file, so it won't upload. 
Let's cancel it and try this one. Let's save it as a PNG. Okay, this is also saved. The next thing we need to do is get an image of an Indian student to put on the ID card. For that, we'll search for an image of an Indian student. You can see many images have appeared, so you can choose any one that looks good and professional. I liked this one, so I'll right click and save it as well. Okay, so this image is also saved. Now, I'll go back to Google Gemini, where I have the program. Here, I'll first upload the college logo. Secondly, we need to add the student's photo, so I'll add this photo. Thirdly, we need the principal's signature, so I'll add that. Now below, you can see our card is basically ready. The signature is there, the picture is there, and the logo is there. Now, we need to change the college or university name. We'll go back to this tab and copy the college name. After copying it, we'll go back to our template generator and paste it in the college name field. Now, for the address below, we'll paste the same thing again. Here, we need to add our name, the same name that we entered in the information on the previous tab. We'll add the same name here. Keep the class as 12, and for the roll number, you can put whatever you want, like I just did. The date of birth should be the same as what we entered in the previous tab. You have to be careful that your details are exactly the same as in the form you filled out. Now, you need to come down and enter any mobile number. The year should be 2025, and all the other things I have already told you to keep the same. One thing is left, which is this number here. We need to enter any random 10-digit number here. Now, if you look below, all the details are filled, and our student ID card is ready. I'll click on the download button. As I click download, you can see our student ID card has been downloaded. Now, I'll go back to this tab, check all the details one more time, and click Verify Student Status. Now, it will start verifying. It takes a little time. Now it's saying to provide proof that the information you've given is correct. I'll click Add Documents and add the student ID card that we just created in front of you. I'll submit it. As I click on the Submit button, it will again take some time. As you can see, the timer has started. This sometimes takes a while, up to 20 seconds. Within these 20 seconds, it will check my profile, and as soon as it's verified, it will move to the next step. Now look, my profile has been verified. It says, you've been verified. And we will move on to the next option. I will click on, get Google AI Pro. As I click here, this window appears again offering the Pro version for free for 12 months. I'll click on Get Student Offer again, and here it is. It's asking to add a card or pay with UPI, which is a local Indian method. I want to add a card, so I'll click on Add Card. Here, I will add my card details. Now let me quickly tell you that if you guys have an issue with cards, I have a method through which we can create unlimited virtual cards that actually work. All you need is to keep $1 in that account. From there, you can get unlimited virtual cards, meaning you use one virtual card, and when it's used, you can delete it and get a new one. You only need to keep one dollar, and that's just for when Google tests it, it deducts a few cents and then refunds it. I will make a video on that method. If this video gets 1,500 likes, I will tell you all how to get unlimited virtual cards. So, here I'll add my details and select any state in India. I'll choose Madhya Pradesh, and then I'll submit it. Now, you see, it's processing. It says subscribed. So, I've subscribed to it. It will take a little time. So, there you see, our subscription is complete. This means we have now successfully received the Google Pro version. Now, I'll close this from here. I'll go to Gemini to check everything. You can see the colorful circle is with my username which means, and it also says Pro next to it, that I have received the Pro account. Now, what I'll do is open a new tab and show you once more to confirm whether I've actually received it or not. I've opened the Flow account. As the Flow account opens, I'll show you the credits I've received. I'll sign in with my current email. In the meantime, I'll tell you that if you want unlimited virtual cards that actually work, I can also show you that method. Now look, I have 1,000 credits available. I can use as much as I want from this with Google Flow and Google Vio. So now everything is in front of you. Now I know the biggest question you probably have 
is about the credit card step. In the video, I used the virtual card. And after that, I have terminated that card and got a new one. So, I have a deal for you. I have this method for getting unlimited free virtual cards that you can use for this and any other online trial. I will create a full step-by-step -step tutorial on that method if this video gets 1,500 likes.